Hey everyone, it's Paul Mayer with Toolmetrics. Today I'm out here in the shop taking a look at a couple new band saws that Laguna sent us out for evaluation. Uh, these are the 14BX series, comes in two flavors. Uh, first the 1.75 horse 110 volt, uh, and then if you want to step up to 220 volt, they have the 2.5 horsepower version of the saw. Uh, other than the motor, these saws are, from everything we can tell, interchangeable parts, pretty much identical, uh, just a power and voltage difference. Uh, these saws are the continuation of the Laguna 1412 band saw, which I've had here in the shop for a couple of years now and have really had a great experience with it, able to resaw large boards. I've done a lot of curve cuts on it, freehand cuts, ripping, pretty much everything that you'd want to do with a band saw, I've done with that thing. So I was really delighted to have an opportunity to take a look at these for Laguna. Uh, they add a couple of neat upgrades uh, over the 1412. Uh, first uh, really is the full height unibody construction uh, and that really makes assembly a breeze. So because of that I was able to uh, assemble each of these saws in about an hour which you know, it took quite a bit longer than that on the 1412. So I was really happy to be able to get these set up, both of them and up and running in a very short period of time. Uh, the next area that they've improved is they've added a second dust port. Um, the 1412 didn't really need that, but with the additional height uh, on the saw body, uh, an additional dust port is really helpful to improve the capture. So that's a neat upgrade. And the third area that's really noteworthy and probably my favorite upgrade to these saws is the uh, micro brake, uh, which is uh, amazing at stopping that blade on a dime. And I'll demonstrate that in a little bit and we'll walk through feature by feature on these saws. But first I just wanted to share some kind of high level impressions that we've had of these saws after running them in the shop here for two to three weeks. First of all, power. On the 110 volt version, there's adequate power to do pretty much whatever I want, and that includes resawing hardwood planks up to 13 inches, just like I was able to do on the 1412. Now that's impressive and frankly quite rare in a 110 volt saw. On the two and a half horse version, I found that I can actually resaw large boards faster, actually roughly twice as fast. Now to me, that was very impressive but power is worthless without precision. The 14BX can resaw thin slices and have consistent thickness from top to bottom, which means less wasted material. Some band saws require a lot of tweaking and really all the planets to be in alignment to get a good resaw cut. With the 14BX, I can walk up, set the fence, and start slicing. That's been perhaps the most noteworthy aspect of these saws from my perspective. And finally, versatility. I've been really impressed by how I can go from resawing to cutting curves and then back to resawing very quickly and without a headache. Even if a blade change is involved, these saws make the process much easier than most band saws because of the innovative Laguna guide system, and I'll cover that more in just a little bit. Okay, let's talk about some of the key features that stand out. The first I'd like to call out here is the stout frame. The heavy European style spine keeps the saw rigid under heavy stress and that's a big reason why the saw does such a great job of keeping its adjustment even when raising and lowering the blade guard. Speaking of the blade guard, I really like the heavy duty worm gear design on this one. That's a feature that you just don't normally find on saws in this price range. It adjusts so smoothly and locks in so solidly in any position that there's no flex in that shaft even when it's fully extended. Now if you try this test on most 14 inch band saws, you'll see the flex and you'll know what I'm talking about. That makes a huge difference when you're resawing because it holds everything in great alignment even when it's under stress, which ensures a great quality cut. But that rigid blade guard extension is not only important when resawing, this also comes into play when you're doing things like a curved uh, matched cut when you have one board on top of another and you're simultaneously cutting a pattern across both pieces. With a lot of band saws, the flexing that occurs on that shaft uh, during this procedure uh, lets the blade flex and wander and that means when you're done with the cut, the joint won't close all the way. With the 14BX, we find that the alignment is perfect every time and we can go straight from the saw to the assembly table for glue up. Another key to delivering smooth cuts in these, is these large precision ground heavy cast iron wheels. These are not only extremely heavy, but well balanced and true. 
we measured the runout on these wheels uh, under tension using a dial indicator and found only about three one thousandth of an inch. And that's one true wheel. One more important aspect to delivering smooth cuts, and this point is often overlooked uh, when evaluating bandsaws, is the trunnion design. The trunnions on the BX have a lot going for them. First, they're beefy and made of cast iron, so they're going to absorb a lot of vibration and hold the table very solidly as you're pushing through a cut. Also, the fact that there are two of them and that they are spread wide apart gives a lot more table stability than a single trunnion design. Now, all of that heavy cutting creates a lot of fine dust which is a health hazard, so you want to be able to have a good dust extraction design. And Laguna really delivers well in this area. They've got a pair of strategically placed dust ports. One sits just below the point where all that dust is created, and that should capture about 80% of the dust. This port is angled at 45 degrees downward, which is important because it provides a nice gentle off-ramp for the dust. Uh, because of the larger full height unibody design in this saw, they've also positioned another port near the bottom of the lower housing. This captures any remaining dust that snuck past the upper port and does a great job of keeping the inside of the bandsaw clean and your shop air nice and clear. I'd also like to, to point out a couple other items on the 14BX. Uh, a magnetic switch is an unusual find on this I uh, saw in this type of price range. It's intuitive and high quality and when I turn it on in a bit you're going to notice two things. One, the saw is really quiet and super smooth. Uh, I always put a, a vibration meter on every new power tool that comes through my shop and I like to compare the vibration level uh, to other tools in that same category. And when we measured the vibration on the 14BX, we actually found it to be slightly smoother running than the 1412, which was also a standout in this area. Since we're talking about new features that we introduced in the BX series, let me call out my favorite new item, and that is the disc brake. A lot of bandsaws have a braking system, but this one is really cool. It utilizes a micro switch to stop not only the blade, but the motor as well and the stopping is instantaneous. Okay, I'm gonna power up the saw, and then I'll bring it to a stop in three, two, one. See what I mean? It's tough to measure any delayed response there. Okay, another area of the saw that I'd like to take a look at here is the area where you spend most of your time, and that's around the table, fence, and guide system. The table is a massive slab of cast iron at over 20 by 16 inches. It's a highly polished, dead flat, great work surface. The fence is also outstanding. Check out this versatility in going from an upright position for resawing to a horizontal position for ripping thin stock. This fence is also plenty rigid to hold a workpiece firmly and ensure a good quality cut. And last but not least, the unique Laguna guides that provide 10 points of ceramic contact to support the blade during cutting. If you've ever dealt with a finicky blade guide system, you're really going to be in for a treat when you try these. I've been using the Laguna guides for a couple years now on the 1412 and I've always been impressed by how simple they are to set up and adjust. You literally just place the guides in contact with the blade on all sides, lock it down, and you're ready to cut. No more feeler gauges, dollar bills for gap setting, or hassles of any kind. I used to avoid changing blades on a bandsaw, but now I just do it without giving it a second thought because it's so painless. Two more features that I'd like to call out. One is the, uh, the quick, tension, quick release tension arm. Uh, these are becoming common on bandsaws, but what I like about this one is that the long arm makes switching on and off a breeze. Uh, it's just smooth and easy. I've come to also appreciate the fact that the visible arm from the front of the saw gives me a good indicator that the tension is released. And that means when I go to use the saw the next time, I have a good visual indication that the blade is detensioned so I won't accidentally start the saw in this condition. There are a couple of accessories uh, that I have installed in this saw that are uh, available that I'd like to uh, point out as well. Um, first, the, these halogen lights with the built-in transformer are fantastic. They produce a, a lot of high-quality light, and I've really come to enjoy them on the 1412. 
uh, as well as the uh, Laguna lathe that I have in the shop. Laguna offers a couple different styles, one with a single knuckle, and the one that I have here has three knuckles. I like the longer arm and the additional joints that this one provides, which allows me to position the light right where I want it. And these lights can be installed in two positions, uh, whether up on top of the saw or on the side, and that's really just your preference uh, where you like to place the light during your cutting operations. And the other upgrade that we have on these saws is the wheel system. Now this allows you to use a foot pedal to lift the saw, easily roll it around the shop, and then lower it back down to the floor. This is a great way to maximize the space in your shop. All right, we've covered a lot of ground here on the 14BX band saws. Let me just share a couple of parting thoughts. Uh, if you're looking at these saws and trying to make a decision how to uh, choose between these two as well as the 1412, uh, 1412 is a great kind of value priced saw. Uh, gives you a lot of capabilities for the price. If you want to step up to a, a, a unibody design that gives, uh, you know, has a second dust port and also has a micro switch brake, uh, then the 14BX series is a great consideration. If you like all that and are looking for a little bit more power performance and a cooler running 220 volt motor, uh, the 14BX comes also with an optional two and a half horse 220 volt motor, and, and that would be a great way to go. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Toolmetrics channel and watch for more tool videos and woodworking related videos coming your way.